Hello Rejects, Greg here. John here. So we're gonna check out the trailer just dropped for Kong Skull Island. Before we do that though, I got a gift. Um, the This lovely husband and wife, uh, Mandy Jean Vasquez is her name, has a company called Mandy Firefly Jean. Wood Burning. Firefly Wood Burning on Facebook. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box. They do a lot of cool stuff. They sent me this box. I just opened it like this. I haven't seen what the gift looks like oh. yet. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that is ah. awesome! Oh! oh my god, that's amazing! Dude, Mandy! Yeah, her husband contacted me oh, on Instagram. Wow. They said they were fans of the channel. You gotta oh, go check this out. Is this is seriously the first time so we're much. watching yeah. seeing this. This we is so cool. This is amazing. Holy shit. What did you make all this out of? Oh my gosh. I mean to touch the art. Go <laughs> go check it out. Holy crap. This is really cool. That's awesome. Oh, this is something. I gotta put this in the background somewhere when we actually like when we film. Dude, I love the whole Okay, now we have to live together. That is one of the coolest, that that's the coolest thing anyone's ever sent us. This is one of my favorite renditions of me and you ever. Yeah, we just look so happy we're in flames. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the coolest part of 2016. Wow, let me make sure, okay, yeah, facebook.com. Facebook.com. Uh, slash Mandy Jean Vasquez, that's with uh, Z's, no S's in her last name. Vasquez. They do anything custom, sports teams, cartoon characters, designs, animal stuff. Wow! I had no clue it was gonna come out that cool. Thank you guys, thank you so much. You know, this makes me really happy that we have yeah, this channel. Thank you. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway, let's watch this trailer now. Just premiered on Jimmy Kimmel, I believe. These are photos of an island in the South Pacific. The place where myth and science meet. Cool. Takes place in the 70s. We use explosives to shake the earth, helping us to map the surface of the island. They're dropping bombs. Scientific instruments. Interesting town. Is that a monkey? No. Is that a monkey? <laughs> oh! You knew that thing was out here? I'm sorry for your man, Colonel. But if you want to make your sacrifice worthwhile, get us home with proof. Monsters exist. Whoa, 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 whoa. Your friend there can put that down. What the hell is this place? That's calm. He's king around here. Kong's pretty good at king. Keeps to himself mostly. But you don't go into someone's house and start dropping bombs unless you're picking a fight. Kong's gone on the island. Weird. But the devils live below us. And what are they called? I call them skull crawlers. Why? I never said that name out loud before. It sounds stupid now that I say just you call them whatever you want. Boys, we're all gonna die together out here. <laughs> he shouldn't have come here. That's a weird trailer. That's a weird trailer. It just looks totally weird. Yeah. I way preferred the first trailer they released from Comic Con. This is. Uh, well, see, right here. As a trailer, it's it's everywhere for me. It's all over. Like I didn't know the whole first part with the. Uh, the classic rock and all that, like, 
Well, I felt like, weird. I like that at first. I'm like, okay, they're putting us in the vibe in the world of the 70s, you know, like the Vietnam War time. And so they're providing that kind of tone. But then it just started shifting into yeah, this weird... But even the song they chose is like upbeat and fun. Yeah. And like, And then I thought like, okay, here comes the contrast when he starts smashing the yeah. helicopters and gets really intense. And then it looks intense for a second and then it becomes like a quirky adventure comedy. Yeah. And then... It has this mixture of like, oh, this looks dark and heavy. Then it has comedy in there and i don't really like the look of kong as much as i thought i did at first everything in this trailer for me is back and forth it's like there are shots where i think kong looks really cool and there's shots where i'm like oh, there are no. times where it looked really off though yeah yeah like when he's walking through the water and shit best case scenario i feel like part of this trailer like parts of this experience made me think it could be awesome. When the trailer actually does at times manage to come together, it almost seems like this might be just like embracing itself as a kind of a big over the top, you know, adventure movie. Clearly some dark, you know, streaks in it. Some really like gritty helicopter crashing and like gritty violence, I guess. Like it just seems tonally weird. It totally does though. It seems very tonally strange. It feels like a B movie. <laughs> it does. <laughs> you know? It does. <laughs> this Part looks like a B me. movie of the King Kong story. See, yeah, th this trailer to me is kind of a mess, and I don't know how to feel because my hope, maybe, uh, at least based on this trailer, is that maybe they just embraced the kind of B movie concept that this is. It's a giant monkey that's going to destroy, you know, a city by the end of the thing, and then he's going to go fight. Godzilla. It is kind of B-movie, and if they really embrace that, then like that could be cool, but this sort of looks like, especially judging by the first trailer, because the first trailer was more like heavy and heavy dark. And dark. And, yeah. and now I can't tell, and because of all the shit that's happened yeah, with, with these movies recently. And, like, try to make it more fun. Like, it, yeah, it this... felt kind of forced, but then I'm looking at scenes like John C. Riley's character, and I'm like, he's clearly out of a comedy. Yeah, was like, he yeah. even in the first trailer? I feel I like they so. went back and reshot that and like yeah. added it yeah, to this. Yeah, he like, seems he's you know he was cast to be a he was cast in it already. Just a lot of the humor just seemed very off. Right now, this trailer to me because I know that they want to make the Godzilla versus King Kong movie, and they're talking about in that movie. They want to introduce like some familiar monsters and then some new monsters. And I feel like they're really trying to capitalize on this monster universe they're trying to create. Because I was like, okay, they kind of just showed us Kong really early in the trailer. That's cool. And then it's like, wait, we got all these other monsters, though, that we want to really emphasize a lot on, too. This trailer didn't know what direction it was taking <laughs> with this movie. Yeah. And, and I kind of worry the movie itself might be a little all over the place. Because I felt like Peter Jackson's King Kong balanced it pretty well with, like, there's King Kong, and yeah, there's a bunch of other monsters, too. Here, it's it's like they're they're saying, like, Kong is God, and then every one of the monsters are, you know, they're the devil. So it's like, okay, Kong is perceived as good then. Then there's these monsters here, but then I don't kind of give a shit about the humans all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, this just... is a really weird, messy trailer that just feels like a bunch of mismatched parts put together. To me, this was like, if you just showed me the we don't belong here chunk, yeah, I'd be super psyched. The right balance of like, oh my god, this kind of looks realistic, but it's also crazy, you know, yeah. like it's also action. Not that this trailer gave a lot away, but I no. do feel that there's a lack of mis mystery and intrigue. For Is that? You yeah. kind of, that's weird. It kind of feels I, like it's all in your face at the same time. It's like, I don't really feel like I learned anything new, really. I don't feel like they gave anything away. I just got a, I just got really concerned, is all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I have a bunch of new concerns I didn't have before. It's the first show was cool, because it was, it was just like, it was all about they go to the island, and they're making Kong this mysterious figure, and then we're kind of wondering, is it going to be like Godzilla? And, and I feel like some people complained about that. Like, oh, is it going to be one where we don't see King Kong that much? So we're going to put King Kong a lot in this trailer now. I don't know. This, it, it, just it, advertise your movie. Yeah, it just felt a little like unfocused. And it's really hard to tell what this movie's going to be like. Because trailers these days, especially Warner Brothers films, are kind of confusing with their trailers. Well, this trailer almost feels pandery to me. I don't feel like this trailer has pitched me a complete movie so much as it's told me it's got this. And also yeah, there's comedy, yeah. but also there's monster action, yeah. but then also it's serious. But then, like, the comedy just seems so out of place here. Yeah. Like when John C. Riley was like, 
That's the first time I said that out loud. I know it sounds weird when I say it. It just didn't seem like it was all really meshing well together. It seemed like this visually looks cool. Like the cinematography looks cool. The designs look really cool. Even though some of the CGI looks a little off at times. And there's some, some great images though. I mean, at yeah. least. But it's like this show didn't know what to promote. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And there were moments during this where I was like, okay, yeah, like this does look kind of like, cool. awesome. Famous actors, then Kong, then monsters. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, Tom Hiddleston's here. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like every major actor is just going to have their own storyline and it's going to be like five different movies. Yeah, like yeah. here's the John Goodman movie and then here's the Tom Hiddleston movie and here's the Samuel L. Jackson movie. I just really hope it doesn't turn to one of those movies where it's like, it's only entertaining when there's like monsters battling it out. Yeah. I'm like, you got a bunch of great actors in here. You got Tom Hiddleston, Brie Larson, John Goodman, Samuel L. Jackson when he cares. And you got all these like different actors in here. And John C. Riley too. I get sort of a classic vibe in that sort of just punched up to 11 the way we like it now way from some of these characters anyway. John Goodman being all in awe of everything, you know, who sort of seems like yeah. the intellectual spearhead of this. And then you got Tom Hiddleston who looks like the, you know, strong, dashing. The thing is like, these are all action. Like they're all, Creature features are all kind of actiony, but oh, but not. But let's not. But it's let's about not do that with King Kong. But it's though. about the intrigue. No, 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 no. But if you if you look at King Kong, you spend a lot of time getting there and and f unfolding the mystery. And the thing is, it's not boring because it's sinister, and so it's intriguing that way. Or at yeah. least you know, like that's what worked when they redid King Kong with Peter Jackson too. And I'm saying that this doesn't feel that way. Yeah, it this, doesn't. This, this feels, feels like they're gonna get to the island in like 20 minutes in the movie. And then a bunch of fun shit's gonna go down. I don't know, though, because they showed us... A, I thought the virtual was so cool. <laughs> they Damn. showed us at least a couple scenes that seemed like it took place before they headed out. But I hope that maybe, you know, like, with each uh, each character yeah. might get an intro. Like, I feel like this could easily... Because this trailer's so messy, I feel like this could easily have, you know, a random... Yeah. More first act than you were expecting. I will know? say I, I don't like this trailer... Yeah, but I'm not determining that I'm not going to like the movie. Because I have a strong feeling this trailer is just really off compared to the final cut of this film. That's the thing about movie news being so public now. is like you get to sweat out in real time those things where you're you know, looking around for humor and going, they probably shoehorned that in there because they didn't want it to track too serious, yeah. you know? Or now it's super badass and awesome because, you know, that's what's tracking well. I feel like this could easily be a, just a frankenstein -y trailer yeah. from from a studio that... You know, their marketing team had a lot of notes because this is what the kids want, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, guys, make sure to check out Mary Jean Vasquez's site, Facebook. Go check out her work. They do custom stuff, so you can go contact her. There'll be a link in the description box for sure. And if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe today, rejects, and get accepted. John is Reasons to Jerry on Instagram and Twitter. He is the social media manager of Facebook.com slash Bloomhouse and Facebook.com slash The Real Rejects. That's right. And uh, let's and, and you could also catch us on the movie Trivia Schmodown. Movie Our trivia. episode was just uploaded Schmodown. on the Collider videos. Just went up yesterday. We went against Clark Wolf and Mark Riley, the Wolves of Steel. So go check that out. And uh, we'll end on a funny one today. What gas station does the turtle go to? Shell? Yeah. <laughs> Take care, kids.